What's up, y'all? AJ Simmons checking in. I am the cleaning business goat, and I'm the founder of Clean Biz Network. And real quick, before I head into my office, I just got to give y'all this quick advice on managing your employees or your subcontractors, all right? Because I know a lot of people struggle with that. As you start to grow, that start to become an issue. So here's what here's just a few tips off the top of my head that I want to help y'all out with. So number one, make sure you show people respect. I know that seems like a given, but sometimes certain people that's, that's in a supervisor position can be disrespectful without realizing it. So you have to have the utmost patience. You have to have the most understanding. You pretty much have to become an empath, all right? So be able to feel how you think somebody else will feel, anticipate those emotions, and try to, you know, treat them in a way that you feel like they would want to be treated, all right? So make sure you show people respect. Don't talk to them, and you know, out of out of character don't talk to them like just because they even if they get disrespectful with you you don't stoop to their level because you're not on their level okay you are an entrepreneur you're a business owner you're a ceo you know what i mean you at a level where they ain't that yet and so therefore your mental has to be you got to carry yourself as such because y'all just ain't on the same level all right so make sure you show them respect first right on top of that Make sure that you don't micromanage, all right? I'm going to tell y'all now. Y'all already know. Don't nobody want to work today no damn way, right? People don't want no jobs. If they if they want to work, they want to work for themselves, not for you. So, therefore, you got to create an environment where they don't feel like they being, they having to work for somebody. So, even if you do cut their checks, even if they do work for you, employee or subcontractor or not, you still can create an environment to make them feel like they're empowered and they do have freedom, all right? And one of those ways to make them feel that way is... By not micromanaging them, all right? If you tell them to do something, trust them to get it done and get out their way. Definitely check behind them, of course, if you know what I mean, but give them freedom. Don't micromanage every little thing. Don't say something every little time. You know what I mean? One of my things, I, the same way I parent my kids, that's kind of how I always treated employees and subcontractors, and it's like this. If they make one mistake, I kind of let it slide because nobody wants to get scrutinized for every little thing that they do wrong. But if I see the same mistake being made, now we have to address it because you, you must not know any better or you might be neglecting. Something's going wrong, but we got to fix it, right? So if they miss the trash this one time in this one office, but typically every other day they usually get it, I'm just going to go, if I'm, and I'm inspecting behind me that day, I'm just going to go and dump that trash can and keep it moving. They, didn't, they don't miss it every time. You know what I mean? I might put it in my inspection uh, report when I do it, or I might let it slide. It just depends. You know what I mean? But like use your judgment on that part but most importantly definitely don't micromanage man trust people to be adults you don't treat them like they babies all right next thing super obvious one pay them well pay them well and even though it seems obvious a lot of people don't get it some people think that they supposed to get rich off of one contract y'all try to get these big contracts and then you think you're gonna keep most of the money out the contract but it's like you ain't doing most of the work so why should you get most of the money so a lot of y'all want to do 50 50 splits why should you get half the money if you ain't doing half the work you ain't even cleaning they out there doing all the cleaning you only want to give them 50 percent you want to give them six uh 40 percent and you keep the 60 you trying to give them 30 percent and you keep the 70 that's pure greed okay if you want to make more money as the owner go get more accounts stop trying to get rich off the one damn contract and two contracts and stuff be it properly pay the people the right way and if you look at companies like chick-fil-a and then wonder why their workers you know behave better than other fast food places is because they pay their people more all right they show them more respect all right so remember that definitely pay your people well make sure you're paying them competitively don't just give them you know whatever the market rate is pay them the best that you can pay them by also still making a profit as well all right that's the main thing like i can't stress that one enough all right i think on top of that what else we got freedom respect uh pay well give them time off all right try to do your best to give people time off and also don't accept contracts that you wouldn't clean your damn self like that was something i always did too like if i know i don't want to do a particular thing then i'm not going to put somebody else in position now obviously as you start to scale that can change right because sometimes you might got a big enough team and these people are more skilled than you then maybe you can put people in, you know, restaurants, even though you don't clean restaurants, but you got somebody to specialize in those, right? Or you might not do stripping wax, but you got somebody to specialize in floor care. Okay, well, you might can take that because the way that that person looks at it is not how you look at it. But starting off and before you got a whole team that you know got your back and all that, just keep it simple. Only take jobs that you're willing to clean yourself. Guess what? Because guess why? Because 
if they don't go clean it, your ass got to go do it. So that's number one. If you got, if, if they don't show up, you got to go do it. So make sure you're accepting jobs that you actually wouldn't mind cleaning. That's number one. Number two is because the golden rule. Treat people the way that you would want to be treated. If you know you ain't trying to go clean a particular contract, then don't accept something and, and then try to put somebody else in it because you know you wouldn't do it either. All right? So think about that. And with that said, too, make sure that the type of contracts that you accept are bid properly so that way you can pay properly. All right? And, and I know that go hand in hand with what I said before, but what I want to go further in on is if you know that this job is, is, is you know, is more detailed than any other job you got, you know it's a more unique situation, you're going to have to pay them more. All right. So in order to pay them more, you got to make sure you bid it more properly. Right. You bid it more than what you usually would bid because it's a different, unique type of job. Right. So keep these little things in mind. It was just something off the top of the head. I wanted to get y'all real quick. I'm trying to I mean, pump these videos out more and more and more. Y'all, we're trying to close this quote out extremely strong, y'all. And so I know everybody be struggling with these tips on hiring. And of course, y'all already know. I ain't gonna lie. I got something to in particular that I think that everybody should be doing. But I don't share that out here because it's a concept that I made up myself and I put it together. Today. Now you can Google it. None of that is in the cleaning business automation program, which you just re-released out. And I partnered with my guy, Andrew Lewis on it, the automation specialist, y'all. He's the king of automations. And so we partnered together, brought back the cleaning business automation program. It is back. And then for a limited time, for those who want it, you can use the discount code 50 today and get a discount on that 50% off and join the cleanup automation course but as we still added more and more and more stuff to it y'all gonna see a video i'm about to drop shortly where i'm uh letting y'all build uh well actually i built it for you already so and that's another thing too when you get the automation program we got automations built already in for you so as soon as you buy it you're gonna be able to check your account and a bunch of automations are already gonna be in there for you certain forms gonna already be in there for you a lot of things gonna be in there for you but anyway uh one thing i just added too was uh customer facing calculators all right so what that means is people can go on your website type in their, their what they need and they get an instant quote right on their website right so that's something i just added and i'm adding even more to that as we speak so make sure you get the automations while you can again that uh discount code is 50 today and you can get a, a discount code while time is lasting all right as we update in that program but make sure you hop in there but anyway i brought that up to say this part as we on this topic of this video is in module two of that program is a course that comes with that program and in the module two of that course i tell i tell you a particular way a particular way that you can hire subcontractors that will guarantee that they all quality contractors and i show you a way in there where you can maximize your revenue all right and you can tap into a potential revenue source that nobody knows about other than the big multi-million dollar companies that's doing it who i got the idea from all right, so anyway, make sure y'all tap into that if you want that information. And hopefully those tips that I shared today was able to help you with managing your cleaning business, subcontractors, and or employees. I'm AJ Simmons, the cleaning business GOAT. I will talk to y'all soon. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Don't cost nothing to hit no like button. Don't cost nothing to leave a comment so I can get in that algorithm. Again, hit subscribe, hit the bell. I'm out, y'all. Thank y'all.